Welcome to week 20 of Against the Spread, otherwise known as the divisional round where we find out who the real contenders are, Cam. Last week, like I said, the teddy bear contender, Arizona Cardinals, got smoked, blown out of the water. What do you have to say for yourself picking Kyler Murray, Cam? Did I win? Didn't I win last week going four and two? You did, okay. you did. Well, but I just got to, I just got to, I just got to jab you. Oh, yeah, I know you're coming. You're coming out hard, Drew. I love you, buddy. I, I, I know you got a lot on your mind. You have children, and you know a lot of problems. But anyway, you know it's okay. You're right about the teddy bear contenders. You were absolutely right. Me and Tom were wrong. We thought the Cardinals would do better, but here's the problem: Kyler Murray. It doesn't when he gets when he gets wow. pressured, he gets rattled. Like like I've never I haven't seen a guy get rattled like that in a game in a long time. He looked like a rookie out there. That like, pick six was brutal. Oh, that was, like, just take the safety. Just take the safety and live another day. And I was just talking to people about it. Like, I've never seen a guy under pressure. Like, he just couldn't snap out of, like, panicking. It, it was, he was, the whole night, he didn't look right. His throws were bad. And he could move. And this whole team, this Arizona team, you know, I thought they'd get it together. And Cliff Kingsbury comes across as this so-called genius. The play calling, I thought, was bad, too. They didn't, what about they the two no forward passes? Yeah, like, <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. So the Rams come out, this, and you guys can agree with this. They punch you in the face. Here's, a, here, here, here's an idea, Arizona. Get a first down. Yeah. Get a couple first downs, and then we'll start talking about trick plays. They're doing trick plays while they're getting their butts kicked, and that just gives the Rams more home men and going, what are these guys doing? They're trying gadget plays now? How about you try yeah. to get a couple first downs, move the ball, and then we could talk about trick play. The whole thing, Drew, McVay out coached them. They weren't ready to go. And as you said, and I will give you credit, you call these guys paper t- uh, uh, teddy bear tigers or contenders yeah. the whole year. The, the term is paper tigers, but you were right about these guys. The Cardinals were not a mean bird. Just the bird that kind of hangs out and eats seed and in your backyard. They don't attack anybody. The funniest thing, I was watching the Manning cast last night, and Russell Wilson's yeah. like, if I'm Kyler Murray, I'm on the sidelines right now and saying, this ain't over, this ain't over, and they cut to Kyler Murray, and he's sitting there just looking at around them. No, that's the thing. Like, And Cliff Kingsbury, too. When you're down in a game, you're not helping anybody looking at your sheet. Yeah, get, get them the guys up. rally. Go hey, talk guys, to people. Hey guys. We're on the road. Let's go. Don't quit, Drew. We played sports before. This is what you do when you're down is you don't go, like, you don't sit shy there and guy. Solve. you yeah. got to get your buddies together and say, listen, we're going to go. If we're not going to, we're going down swinging. We're going to fight. I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to, we're going to bring everything at these guys. And I see Cliff Henry. Okay. What player are we going to run? He's yeah, yeah, just... on his own. He's on his own. That's, that's bad. Bo- the whole body language. When that game started, I knew the Cardinals were done by their yeah. body language. Anyways, that's enough of uh, that game last yes. night. Yes. <laughs> Let's move forward. The, the Rams already came. <laughs> Makers yes. looked amazing. Anyways, moving on. Cam yeah. won last week, four and two. Best bets. We were combined, what, seven and two, which is, I mean, if you followed our best bets, you're laughing right now. We all said, well, me and Cam said San Fran was a lock on the money yeah. line. We said that plus money was a good bet. Uh, Tom, on the other hand, Tom said uh, Arizona was a lock. And as yeah, I Tom, said before, stop, Tom's our, stop Tom's dropping our that L word. Yep, Tom's our guy. When he says lock, Oh, this one's no, a no-brainer. Like all when Tom, when Tom, when Tom, when Tom turns into confident Tom CT. Yeah. that's the only time he loses picks yeah. when he's actually like very like methodical and goes out of business he never loses the minute he gets cocky he's done yeah it's come on Tom. I, I hope he's not cocky on the bills this week let's just say that oh um, please don't please don't be tom uh, all right we'll begin with cincinnati going to tennessee to take on the titans the number one seed titans coming off the bye uh mike vrabel has two weeks camp to prepare for the Bengals. uh they're laying three and a half at home the over under is 47 I will let you start this one. Uh, you Do you believe in Joe Burrow and the Bengals to win this football game? Um, here's the thing. If you really watch that Bengals game against the Raiders, I still think there were some flaws there. They could have been a lot better, but I believe in Joe Burrow. I believe he's a big game quarterback. And this game, it's going to be a lot of Joe. Joe Mixon's going to have to set up some things for these guys. Uzuma, too, like Drew, he's starting to use the tight end a lot more. I'm still not totally sold on Tennessee. Do we know about Derrick Henry? Uh, is, is it going to matter at this point? All I know is Tennessee's rested, but I think Cincinnati in that underdog role, we're getting three and a half points. I think their defense can do enough in this game. The under came in in, in the Raiders game. I just think this could be an old-fashioned slugfest. We're getting three and a half points with the Bengals. I got to take Cincinnati in this spot. I had them going deep in the playoffs, and for them to go deep, they got to win this game against Tennessee. Tennessee's a good football team. Vrabel's an old-school coach. He doesn't worry about analytics, everybody. He, he wins football games, but I believe in Zach Taylor and the Bengals too, Drew. And the Raiders were a hot team going into that game. I think they were kind of disrespected. I didn't think they used Waller enough. But as for Cincinnati, they have enough weapons to contend. And I think they can beat Tennessee. So I'm going to take the three and a half points in a game that I think is coming down to the wire. 
I'm going to go the other way, and I'll just say uh, Derek Carr, game, if, he had, if he had someone better to throw to at the end than Zay, Zay Jones, Jones? they yes. probably have a better <laughs> output. I mean, fourth and goal, you're throwing to Zay Jones, eh, it's probably not going to work out. I mean, <laughs> And you didn't even throw to him in the end zone. You're short. Oh, yeah, I didn't sure understand that. There. Why is Zay Jones cutting his route short of the end zone when you need to score? <laughs> um, anyways, I just got this to say. The, the Bengals' D has been impressive against running backs this year. I will say that. They held Cook to yep. 61, Eckler to 59, and Aaron Jones, he barely got over 100, but he had over 20 carries. Yep. Um, the issue is their past defense. Herbert was 317 and three. Rodgers was 344 and two. And Cousins was 351 and two. So it'll, it probably comes down to Tannehill. And I think with a full arsenal of weapons and two weeks to prepare, I can't see Mike Vrabel losing this football game to Zach Taylor. I just, I In don't. Cincinnati, though, six and two ATS on the road. I They're understand. A good road team. That's the thing. Like, it's not even about the jungle fever and the Icky Woods days and stuff. They can go on the road. Their show can travel. Joe Burrow. Played football at LSU, Drew, and you know, like you're a Clemson guy. It's ACC, but you know big football. He knows you the know big national spots. National championship game. He's not going to be intimidated by fans in Nashville, Tennessee, for this football game. So the way I look at it right now is, I think it's going to be tight in Cincinnati. But let's be honest, Drew, this game is tough. It's Very tough, tough. But I think I just I believe you think the Tennessee buy, crushes the buy is good for the teams. Like the buy is usually yes. good, Cam. You you agree yes. with that? Like the extra week prepare. And let's see if I had to ask you, Stafford, Mahomes, and Wilson all played the Bengals this season. How many touchdowns and interceptions combined do you think they had? Against the Bengals? Against the Titans. Interceptions or against touchdowns the Titans. and interceptions? Against the Titans, TDs and picks for Wilson, Stafford, and Mahomes. TDs and picks combined? So, like, how many touchdowns and how many picks? Two different numbers. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to say 13, 13 touchdowns. Okay, four guys. Three, three guys, three guys, three guys. Okay, three guys. I'm going to say nine touchdowns and six picks. So the Titans held Stafford, Mahomes, and Wilson to a combined three total touchdowns and three interceptions. So they have oh. been very good against top-tier quarterbacks, Cam, right, which uh, gives me some pause when I see Joe Burrow and that offense coming to town uh, with the two weeks prepare. So oh, that's, that helps that's very me. very interesting. That helps me lean Titans. I know Josh Allen played well against them, but yeah. he's really the only one. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, Tommy Tiebreaker, who are you going with, Tennessee or Cincinnati? C-I-N-C-I-N-N-A-T-I, uh, -I -I -I, Cincinnati. <laughs> uh, home of the Bengals, home of the Reds. Give me the Bengals. Uh, listen, the Titans are the uh, third seed. Tech I mean, officially, they're the, they're the number one seed, but if you ask the Cincinnati Bengals, pick one of these three teams, the Titans, Bills, or Chiefs, who do you want to play? Ten times yeah. out of ten, they're taking the Titans. That's why they lost week 18, let's remember. Yeah, but they're mm -hmm. they're yeah. I just think that they're a better football team. I like Joey in this uh, in this spot. I think the Titans are a little overrated. Tannehill has struggled all season. We haven't been hard enough on Tannehill, probably because the legacy has been so good in Tennessee for so many years. This is the first year where he's kind of had that, you know, quantifiable uh, uh, regression. I think he's up to about 15, 14 picks and only 20 or so touchdowns. Tom, his really number one receiver was Westbrook Akine half the year. Yeah, it doesn't matter when you. I, I guess I get on. I understand like the nuance of it. They're a run heavy offense, but. Derek hasn't been there for eight weeks. The numbers haven't come back to earth. They're still a little, a little askew. And I think the Bengals are just playing really, really good football right now. I think the break actually works against them. The Bengals are rolling. The Titans are kind of sitting there. Who are we playing? The receivers they um, have, Tom. Like they, they're they can beat you a lot of different ways. ways. You got yeah. Chase. You got Higgins. You got and like, they can the run the ball. He's just loaded. They, they can, can run the ball down your throat yes. too if, they, if it's Mix not working it. and, and they're having some struggle in the passing game. They can just start. They can come on, Drew. Listen, they're loaded, but they can barely beat the Raiders still. We're cats. Bengals, come on. All buddy. right, well, we're agreeing to disagree. <laughs> you guys believe in the hype around Burrow and that offense. I believe that it's all just hype, and I believe the yeah. real better team. Listen, running and defense wins football games in the playoffs. I think the yeah. Titans have that formula. They showed it two years ago when they made the AFC Championship, and I think if you're Tennessee, you're like, amazing. We get Cincinnati. We don't got to play Buffalo or the Kansas City Chiefs right now. This is perfect. We'll deal with that next week. So, I mean, I could be totally wrong. A one seed – Maybe you, they which ones he lost last year? Green Bay, right after their buy. Um, so maybe there was it the I don't know who it was one of the ones he's lost after their buy last year. But uh, anyway, Tennessee's not as good as the, they're not a true one seed hmm. in my opinion. I'm with Tom. No, they. I mean, if they lose that game to the Bills, they're the three, and the Bills are number one. So mm -hmm. it, it, it the season went weird this year because of COVID and everything. All right, moving on. San Francisco going to Green Bay. Cam our 49ers pulling off the upset. Um, we both had them crazily going to the Super Bowl. Let's see if we still stand by that. You know what? I will. I'll it's begin not this crazy. One. It's I'll not begin crazy. This one. I'll begin. Well, this yeah, one. I'll, I'll know what? I'll start everyone this week. Fine, don't, all right. Don't let me let me say the line first. Let me say I the line. Need, okay. Green yeah. Bay. Green Bay's laying six at home. The over under is forty seven and a half. Oh, we didn't do the total in the last game. Quickly, forty seven points. Tennessee and Cincinnati. Under. Under. Lean. Lean. I don't love it. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going under as well, Tom. Over. over. Okay, All right, Tommy, Tommy Tiber going with the over. All right, now back to San Fran Green Bay. Six points at home. Over-under is 47.5. Cam, 
Tell us why San Fran is going to cover the six points. Well, here's the thing. I believe in San Francisco. I just, I didn't like the way thing, they could have murdered Dallas in that game. Like the fact that Dallas came back, San Francisco, the only thing, they, if they play a perfect game and reduce penalties, I think Green Bay could be in trouble this game. I get it. They have Dylan. They got Jones. They got Devontae Adams. They got everybody. But Aaron Rodgers, too. This is a team, historically, that everyone gets behind and they find a way to disappoint. I'm just saying, like, the guy's awesome. He MVP, it's a lock. Everyone knows. Great team. Well-rested. The toes better. But San Francisco, it's very simple for me. Jimmy Garoppolo makes... He'll make a mistake if it's if it's just like around in, in Green Bay's like you know what I mean. Don't make a mistake. Like the six. interception last week. Yes, yes. That, like Dallas came back in the game. That was a horrible interception. But Mitchell can pound the ball. They still have weapons. They did this all. They beat Dallas. Kittle did nothing in that game. That's what, they didn't Absolutely. even use him. They didn't even use him. They used him as a blocker. I think San Francisco goes in there, and if they lose Drew, they lose a heartbreaker. I'm not sure about the money line, but I'm taking the six points with the Niners. Garoppolo and those guys, they want a street fight. And the thing is, Green Bay might be the cold weather team. San Francisco's built for this. That's who they are. They can bully you. They have the players to do it. People just think Green Bay is going to wipe the floor with these guys. I think if they win, they win by like a field goal. Give me San Francisco. As We have a theme here. The dogs. Dogs. Who let the dogs out? I did. Cam, I agree with San Fran plus six. I will say... I was confident in the money line earlier this season, but now like seeing like Rogers, he's got this like swagger, like he angry does. swag with him, like yes. uh, against the media, against the NFL. Like he wants to show them like, stop talking about me kind of thing, um, which worries me. But San Fran played them la- this season already. They, then Green Bay won on a last second field goal by two points, which shows you, I mean, I got Cleveland, number one rushing team, Green Bay beat them by two. San Fran, number five rushing team, Green Bay beat them by two. Baltimore, number nine rushing team, Green Bay beat them by one. So Green Thank Bay you. has pr- problems with teams that can run the football against them. It's just the angry Aaron Rodgers factor that they could easily win this game by 17 points. Everyone's like, oh, yeah, that doesn't shock me. So It's tough, though, Drew. Like, look at Green Bay. Haven't lost at home this year. Yep. 7-1 and one ATS. But San Francisco, on the other hand, they're 8-2 and two against the spread in their last 10 games. And, you know, they can get it done. They're 7-3 th- and three outright on the road. So it's just – it's strength on strength. This is a great match. I hate, I hate it. I would love, like, these teams not to be playing each other because I would like to see this as the NFC Championship game. These are the two best teams, in my opinion. I will say because San Fran's already plus six, I think if you like San Fran, the public's betting Green Bay, just wait. I think I agree. Seven. I if think we take this seven. show later, we would have got a seven for fun. Like this line, like after the taping, I think it, I think this line might close. It's not going to close seven and a half because the books don't need to do that, but it'll close seven. Yeah, six and a half or seven for sure. Yeah. Um, all right, Tommy Tiebreaker, you picked Green Bay to win this game in your bracket. Uh, do you still back that statement for them to win by six? No, after what I saw last week from the 49ers, um, I'm pretty sold with, uh, on them with you guys. And I think what you mentioned, Drew, is the big uh, the big X factor here is it's not just that they run the ball well, it's how they run the ball, their play designs. Mm-hmm. Debo in the backfield, they're lining guys up all over the place. Kittle's basically an extra lineman now who can then just like peel out on some of these RPOs and go down for 40, 45 yep. like, with, with nothing. It, they just have such a creative personnel and, and a great play caller. And I think, um, you know, it's going to be a lot of heavy lifting for uh, for Aaron, even at home to cover this spread or, or to uh, keep San Francisco uh, with, you know, I mean, a touchdown away. I just don't think that's pr- pretty realistic for how this game goes, uh, goes down. Um, still at my gut, I kind of think Green Bay wins this game. But again, just like Kami said, I think it's by field goal. So you know what it is, Tom, too? I don't want to be that guy, but San Francisco is a team. Sure, they have a fan base. You know what the NFL wants. They want oh, Tom Aaron Brady and Aaron Rodgers. Like, who are we kidding? It's all about these stupid, you know, narratives and this and that. And let's call it out for what it is. That's what they – like, I was I was even scared with San Francisco because of Dallas is – they just, they're just so bad killing themselves with 14 penalties. Yeah. Um, yeah, but you know, Drew, like, they want nothing better. Like, this league is all about extra eyes, money, narratives, and Jimmy Garoppolo doesn't really – Sell Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers do. San Fran does have a large fan base though, Cam. They They're do. Probably top ten in the league. Oh, definitely. Yeah, but mm-hmm. Green Bay and Rodgers, the way things. Rodgers are easier to sell for sure. Yeah. But maybe like I, the NFL might not like Rodgers right now, so like maybe. Right, that's an interesting angle. You're right because he likes to tell these guys where to go a lot of the time. It's he's his own man. It's good. So point. I mean, we might see the referees lean San Fran side. I mean, it felt like the referees were on San Fran side against Dallas. Let's be honest. Uh, yeah, I mean, a little bit. It, it, but at the same time, that was Dallas executing very poorly. Like some of the penalties were just blatant, and I'm seeing all over Twitter like, how can you call that? It's like I can't. Randy believe Gregory Mike tackled the guy for no reason. Still has it. They're like, we gave him a vote of confidence. No, the best is Drew. We're doing a live show. I'm doing the show. It's like, wow. 
So, Joe, what happened? Did anything change? He's like, no, they're still down two possessions. Like, even yeah, when you yeah. kick the field goal, like, you have to go for the – think about that. I even didn't get that didn't field get it, goal. They needed a touchdown to win. If they would have got a touchdown earlier, the field goal would have been fine. Like, they do everything wrong. They do everything it, wrong. It makes no sense. And then even Dak at the end, I understand people are like, oh, the ref was in Dak's way. Yeah. He couldn't snap it. Listen – if you're in a veteran quarterback, you hand that ball to the official. You don't say, hey, here's center. Take the ball and put it down. I can spot it because I'm the quarterback. That's not your a job. Horrible you play call. Football. Horrible play call. You don't run draws. Oh, yeah, that is alone. No time and outs. McCarthy's getting all the hate for this, Cam. Let's not forget, Kellen Moore calls the place. I agree. So, like, I why agree. is McCarthy getting thrown under the bus? He's still a bad coach, though. He, he's, oh, oh, he, he has sure. His clock management skills, I can get a five-year-old to do a better job. Literally. <laughs> he like, won a Super Bowl hire a quarterback, kid. let's be honest. <laughs> McCarthy, he's not a good coach, Drew. No. He's very right. bad. Let's okay. move on. Uh, we're yes. all in the 49ers plus six. Oh, wait, over under 47 and a half. I think this goes over. over. I think see a lot of points. I like the over as well. Depending on weather. Like, if it's crazy blizzard, uh, maybe I'll lean under. All right, Tom, who are you going? Over or under? He likes the over. Tom's he pointing the to the sky. Well. Just, just silent. Mute Tom. Yeah, now. that's the thing. Yeah, it's a, Tom's a mime on the side. Come see yeah. Tom Stewart miming it up. <laughs> yep, he, he likes the over. All right, so we all like the over in that one and the under in the first game. All right, moving on to probably second best game of the weekend. The Rams going to Tampa Bay to take on Tom Brady. Uh, Brady made quick work of the Philadelphia Eagles. Jalen Hurts, Cam, before we start this game, is he a starting quarterback in the NFL? Like, he I did don't not look so. good. Actually, it's funny. I said this weeks ago when you were talking about paper tigers. I said Gardner Minshew was a better – people, like, came at me. You hard. said better passer, yeah. to be fair, which what? I agree with. Yes, he is a better – no. And honestly, he wouldn't have been as rattled as Hurts in that game. Like, they couldn't have done any worse with Minshew. But anyway, you draft Hurts, he's the guy, and you don't want to ruin the kid's confidence. But I'm saying, Gardner Minshew, in my opinion, is better than Jalen Hurts. Come at me, whatever. Say whatever you want. The guy's already proven. Jalen Hurts' about... pocket awareness was terrible. He oh, was it's like awful. moving into blockers and no, like, he's, like, what are you doing? Like, he's, even this year, he's got a lot of pass interference calls. Like, he's still not there yet. He's not polished. He's he's kid. He's a kid. He'll get better. Like, I don't want. When, I don't when want they can run, he's successful. When they can't run, like Tampa exactly. stopped the run. It's just all of a sudden he's just like, I don't I have that option. I agree. Did you give um, me the spread on this game yet? In yeah, the total so Tampa Bay, no? Tampa Bay laying three at home, Cam, against the visiting Rams. Total is 48 and a half. Let's start with the total here. Let's throw a curveball. Uh, you like the over or the under in this one? I kind of lean over. What do you think? Uh, I think the over as well. I think it's not enough points. I think this should be – I almost think the Chiefs and Bills total should be reversed. But uh, Yes, yes. I, I, I think uh, this should be like 50-plus, so give me the over. I think this sails over the Here's number. Here's the thing, too. When people – if you didn't watch that whole Eagles game, the Eagles were lingering in that game. Tampa Bay was actually the – they I'm forced Brady to four straight punts, Cam. got zero think, points. Exactly. I'm not that impressed with Tampa Bay's performance. Sure, they did some good things, but the Eagles were horrible in that game. And the Rams are a much better team. I'm going to tell you this. The Rams defense, Von Miller's starting to get more angry. He looks healthy. This is bad news. If they come up with a scheme and put Tom Brady on the ground, it's going to be a long day for Tampa Bay. I told you, Drew, the dog theme again. You know where I'm going. I'm going with Ron, Ronnie Ram. <laughs> I love cool. that you're back on the Rams wagon. You were off them in our playoff yep, preview yep. show, but now you're you're a believer See, again. I thing. love it. I'm a forgiving guy. <clears throat> a guy will screw me. Like, you know, my buddy says he's helping me move and he does it. You know what? If he calls me and apologizes for a good reason, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna let him off the hook and we'll have beers again. I'm for I'm a forgiving capper. I, I'll get back on this team. And I'm going to tell you, people love Tampa Bay and think they're just going to roll these guys. I, I I look at this game very differently. I think the Rams' defense can hang. I think Stafford in that game is getting a little bit more confidence. And Cam Akers changes everything with the running game. Sony and Michelle's good, and then you throw a little Cam in there. I'm telling you, watch out. Beckham Jr.'s been good. Higby, all these guys. Cooper Cup is unstoppable. I'm telling you, they can beat Tampa Bay. They're right for the pickings. Give me the Rams. I uh, <clears throat> I had LA going to the NFC Championship game uh, in our preview show, and I have them going there as well here. Nice. I love them on the money line here, Cam. I mean, with Akers back too, he's such a dynamic weapon. Like you saw him out of the backfield mm-hmm. running wide receiver routes last night. Um, <clears throat> I just don't see how Brady keeps up. I know he's threw for 432 against him last time, but that was with his full arsenal of weapons, Cam. Yep. Fournette's probably out again, so you got Gio Bernard and Keyshawn Vaughn. Mike Evans Vaughn's shut down good, by though. Ramsey. I'll give Vaughn credit. He's been better than that. He's been okay. He's been good. Yeah, but, I mean, if Mike Evans is shut down by Ramsey, which we yeah. expect, you're now throwing a Tyler Johnson and Scotty Miller against the it's Rams offense, and yeah. Odell's been a TD machine. I just think I think the Rams should be favored in this game, Cam. I think the wrong team's favored here. Actually, you um, know what, Drew? I would have made it Ram- – yeah, pick them. Like, the game should be a straight-up pick them in my – Yeah, I, I think exactly. Which means it would be three Rams on yeah. a neutral site. Yep. 
So on, uh, I agree with you on plus three on the Rams. Let's see if uh, Tommy is on our side again. Tommy, Tommy. Where are you going? I want to keep the people entertained. So just for that reason, I'll take the, the bucks at minus three. But what do these time travelers know that we don't? Because I, I think I'm a little different than you guys. I think that in a, in a perfect world that the bucks would be favored by five, five and a half year. I don't, I don't know if five I like and a half. Too much. Yeah. Come on, Tom. You, you guys what are, are you smoking. All, no, all no, year, no, no, Cammy, no, no, You've been telling me, don't let one week tell You know I mean? Don't You're let right. one week to find a team, okay. you know, look at the, look at the full arsenal of what you've seen. Yep. I haven't liked the Rams this season. I don't know what it is about them in big moments. I think that they fall a little short. And I think that that's the complete opposite of the MO of, of Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So I think that they win this game by, by a touchdown. I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm. I mean, it, you're but, picking the goat, so like you can't be yeah, upset. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, honestly, don't with, worry. If, I mean, if for our the wrong you know? way, we're in big trouble here. You know, <laughs> like wait, I, I got to be honest with you too. And I'm a Seahawk fan. I'm going to say this to Eagle Nation out there. I've never seen a team this year job by more calls than the Eagles every week. They, let's call it out for what it is. I am not a Philadelphia Eagle fan. I couldn't give a about that team. Like, I don't care. I'm a Seahawks fan. But I will say this. Watching every single game this year, every the Eagles get jobbed on a day, weekly basis. That's my opinion. Sorry. I don't know how you feel about that. Uh, I mean, I can't speak to or against that point, Cam, because I w didn't really watch that many Eagles games this season. I'll be honest. I was more so. <laughs> I was watching uh, Red Zone and the Bills game at the o'clock games. <laughs> yes. uh, I wasn't watching the, the yeah. teddy bear contenders like the Eagles and Cardinals. Yeah, well, they don't get much help either. They're not. That um, nice. But I okay. will say this is a different Tampa team than last year when they won the Super Bowl. Like, yes, weapons are not the same. Let's just call You're it right. Is. So, and the Rams Stafford threw four touchdowns against this Bucks defense earlier this season already. So mm. he could do that again, and he didn't have Odell last time they did that either. So, Tom, we have a problem. You weren't confident enough in Tampa Bay for me and Drew. Like, you yeah, you should have yeah. just rolled out. This is the absolute lock. Like, the lock. goat's going to win take for off, sure. Take off your loafer. This is the shoe in of the week. Like, exactly what we needed. But now, see, now I'm scared because Tom's said it with, like, not not ultra confidence, Drew. That's I mean, he did out. say they win by a touchdown, which he is did. double the spread. So that's kind of confident. Yeah, you're right. But not as confident as the, the Arizona pick. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Moving on. The Buffalo Bills Listen. going to Kansas City Cam. KC. Minus two, the same spread we got in week five when these two teams faced and the Bills went in there and romped them. Uh, you can start this one. Do the Bills repeat what we saw in week five, or is this AFC championship all over again? No, nope, this is Bills time. And uh, I'm not doing just, just, just to take four dogs, but this is it. I think the Bills, the way they beat down New England, I think they're a better team. I think they can go into Kansas City. People saw Pittsburgh's offense is horrible, and they actually had a lead in that game. If they, if they, if Pittsburgh, well, they had a lead because of TJ Watt. Let's I agree, I agree. But I'm just saying, if they don't come out with their A game against the Bills, it's not going to be easy coming back from like if the Bills get out to a lead. They're a real team, and Pittsburgh is not a good, very good football team. Kansas City still has weapons. It's scary, Kelsey Hill, everybody else, but that defense is exploitable. Um, what do you think about the total, Drew? You like the? Did you like the under? I like 55? the under. I feel like all every time there's a huge primetime game like this, I, there's that many points, it always goes like it'll be like 24-21, and that's ten points under the under. It's hard to take it though yeah. because I think the Bills can score like 20, 31 points, and I think Kansas City is good for about like twenty six, twenty seven. So I like the Bills outright in this game. I think they're this is their destiny. We talked about this. It's now or never. You took care of business now. You got to get that monkey off your back. Come up with some new schemes to put Mahomes down. It's tough because Kansas City is amazing. And they're, they peaked at the right time at the end of the year. But I believe in Buffalo. I just think their defense can do enough to hit Mahomes. Just get off the damn field. Their offense will be fine. That's the thing. Kansas City, people want to talk about the improving defense. They've also played a lot of junk down yeah. the stretch as well. The Bills are a real football team. Let's not forget, Denver played it really close to them when Casey needed a win in a weekend. Yeah, team, so. I, I, I like the Bills. I like the Bills outright. I'll take the two points. I, I'm going to go the other way, Cam. I had yeah, you did last week too, did you not? Did you have I New had, England last week? No, no, I had Oh, you had the Bills. Yeah, Damn yeah. it. I had Sorry. KC. I had KC week five, though. Uh, I thought they'd cover because it was Mahomes. Yeah. Anytime I get Mahomes under three points, it's just my brain says you have to bet it. Yeah. I love the Bills. I'm wishing them well. I hope they win. But that pass defense, Cam, I know they have the, one of the two best safeties in football, but without Trey White, that's a problem. It I is. Mean, I mean, you're going to have Kelsey and Hill running wild, and they don't have corners that can keep up with these guys. I mean, Brady threw for 363 against Buffalo, and they still almost won that football game. So that's their way here. They just need to outscore the Chiefs. But I don't see the the Chiefs turning the ball over four times like they did in week five when the Bills had a pick six and everything. So I think Breaks this game's close. Uh, I just think the Chiefs edge it out and Bills Mafia, including myself, are upset at the end of the football game. 
like a 28 27 victory um but i hope I, i'm wrong i, I hope i've got a question though like with for bill's mafia like going through tables wasn't enough now it's fire tables your friend lighting him <laughs> yeah. on fire and and then we continue to throw sex toys on the field like this fan base is just a bunch of like, <laughs> these guys are weirdos the bildos man yeah. Someone, there's gonna the be some x rated that, that said, stop throwing stop throwing the, 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 the yeah i don't want to use the d word uh, on the field there but it's ridiculous just call it a bildo it's a bildo it's, it's a, a bildo yeah, yeah. <laughs> bildo. The, there's gonna be a brand you're gonna see you're gonna go to like a, a Dude, sex store and you're gonna see have yeah. they it yet? I don't. I don't know if they have. Dude, get on. Get on a domain site right now. Get, get your finger after the show. Hurry up! Like that's a great. That's a great name. I'll give you. Just a have it. Have it packaged on top of a broken yeah. table. Like it's, it's, who's it's, on it though? Is it the logo, uh, Alan? Like, what do you do with it? I don't know. I feel like copyright. You couldn't put the logo on there. Yeah, so that's maybe a good point. the NFL would not approve sex toys. As no, no, no. Practice. I don't think so. I but anyway, so. all right. So you Tommy like the Chiefs, I like the Bills. Tommy Tiberger, who are you going with? Uh, obviously, I'm going with Buffalo. Uh, yeah, as, to, as to what you could put on the uh, on the build, though, you could put Zuba print all over it. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, uh, there's a lot of different ways you could do about it. I know Bill's Mafia isn't trademarked by the team. I think you could go. Uh, there's a there's a company in Buffalo that that owns that trademark. Maybe you could work in conjunction with them. Uh, I don't want to go too much of a tangent here because I'd just be repeating everything I've said all year. Brandon Bean is a genius. He built this team to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, uh, we said at the beginning of the season that the, the the way to beat these teams was already out. It was common knowledge. And for the first half of the season, teams uh, who, who, teams who, who got to the quarterback, who made Mahomes uh, uncomfortable. I only found rushing four. success about him. Yeah. But but listen, uh, I, I understand the, the concerns about Trey White not being in the backfield. But Dane Jackson and Levi Wallace have been really good. Again, I know the next thing that's going to come out is, oh, the competition hasn't been the same. It obviously isn't the same as playing against Tyreek and Kelsey. We know what those guys can do. Um but, but you got to also understand that on the other side of the coin, we have just as prolific an offense with a lot of weapons, with a quarterback who's playing fantastic. And so I think as scared as we are of them, they should be just as scared of us. They didn't want to play us just as much as we didn't want to play them. Correct. Um, this is the AFC Championship game. Whoever wins this game is going to the Super Bowl. I'm not uh, – nothing bad against the Bengals or the Titans, but this is the, the, the A side of the card. And I think that the, the Buffalo Bills going to make a statement. If you're the best team in the AFC, if you are Super Bowl contenders, if you're the real deal, you make you come into this uh, you come into this game. You go to Arrowhead, you play a tough game against the Chiefs, come out with a win. Wouldn't it be uh, nice, so Tom, if it was Bills Chiefs AFC Championship game, Niners Packers NFC Championship game? Those are yeah. the four that I want yeah. there. Like that would have been, per but it never works that way. That's the problem. We never get what we want, Cam. That's no, uh, we don't. That's uh, but do we life. get what? But do we get what we need, Drew? A, I Bills, know. We, a Bills win. We, I will say, Tom was their good luck charm. He was at the game last week. I was supposed to go, but some issues with you, Tom? and everything. So nice. Tom was there. He was with Fitzpatrick, shirt off and all, uh, in the crowd. And he nice. said they had a they had a pretty funny chant after each touchdown. Tom, tell the viewers. Yeah, it was an interesting signage day. I don't know if you guys saw the turnover cat. I haven't seen that all. See, maybe I saw it a couple of times actually. But in our section, we had someone with a Betty White cutout. I don't know if it was her birthday or not. Every score, which was seven straight on seven possessions, we would all start a giant Betty chant. I was in section 104, so I saw the buildo. Uh, hit right behind Kendrick Bourne there. I saw it in real time. There was only one. I can confirm that. There wasn't multiple. Uh, a couple of beers got chucked down as well, which is exciting. Oh, that's uh, it was party. an electric atmosphere. It was one of the best days of my life. And I say that with no uh, hyperbolic extension whatsoever. Um, an electric team. I've wished that we were playing the Bengals uh, at home this week. I was praying for that Steelers win. When they went up 7 nothing. I texted Drew right away saying, the dream is alive. He said, relax, go back to bed. This is you know, this is go. <laughs> Relax, <laughs> Tom. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, but it was electric. We really wanted an AFC championship game. So go, go, uh, go Bengals, go Bills. And hopefully the three of us are in Orchard Park or in Hamburg or somewhere uh, in the suburbs of uh, Orchard Park. Watching if the it's Bills, AFC Bengals, AFC championship game, I will pay for Cam's ticket to come with us to that game. That's how and he just have to. Wow. Are I you mean, serious? Sunday, Sunday night, Cam, you got to come with us. It'll be a oh, good I'm, time. Oh, you, you said it. It's out there now. Well, we already talked about on our shows, Drew. Like I told, I talked to Gabe about. It. He said if the Bills go to the Super Bowl, like we're going to be in LA, we're going to the game. Oh, that was it, the thing. Because, I was looking. Like, I, was, I don't know I was how we're going to work. How, work. how yeah. much do you think the cheapest uh, Super Bowl ticket is right now? I was looking yesterday. Like for nosebleeds? Yeah, for US dollars. Eighteen hundred. Seven thousand. So, sorry for the, like like standing seven thousand. Uh, actually, sorry, I, I'm not. I'd like to cancel my Super Bowl plans, <laughs> yeah. and I will see you at the El Cortez in Las Vegas for one dollar <laughs> yeah. Miller Lights. I, I saw that. Enjoy my wife was game. like, my wife was like, if the Bills make the Super Bowl, would you go? And I was like, oh, it depends on price. Let me look. And I was anything like, anything under like oh. two, 
three dimes you consider seven thousand dollars to me is like sorry i have a mortgage to pay and stuff i, Dude, I just can't justify i don't have i can money. go to every game including the road <laughs> games all next season for seven thousand yeah, dollars good point it's just i i feel like i'd rather just drive across the border go to bar bill watch with all the bills fans yeah and like maybe they pack the ralph uh or sorry highmark stadium uh yeah. with a viewing party that would be probably just as fun as going to la um, cool well that, now you told me that price i'm as, as Tom knows, as a Scotsman, we're definitely out. I mean, Freshly hey, maybe you can heckle a scalper like in the third quarter, like, "Hey, twenty bucks, let me in the stadium." Yeah. Kind of <laughs> 20, yeah, no, or third like quarter, third quarter, it'd still be a dime. You're still looking you, at. Did you see bucks. those kids? I think it was last year, or the year before, where they just had a ladder and they pretended they were construction workers. That's and awesome. Snuck in, and Smart. Guy Fieri saw him and was like, "Yeah, he was happy." <laughs> like, he didn't rat him. He was like, "That's amazing. Go for it." I like Guy. He's a he's good. Yeah, that's <laughs> what he didn't rat him out. No, that's cool, Drew. Yeah, but even third quarter, Drew, you're probably thinking like fifteen, like a dime, fifteen hundred, like a seven thousand. Probably depends on score. Yeah, yeah seven thousand right. right now in the resale for the cheapest seats. That's the end of that. Which plan. is crazy. <laughs> it's the end of that plan. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, I mean, maybe when they switch it to Dallas for Jerry World, because that's rumored. Uh, maybe the ticket prices go down. We'll see. Um, all right, moving on to best bets, Cam. Um, I think we're all over this this week. Do you want me to start? Or do you want to start? I love when you start this one. This is where I always have a problem with the best bets. So you start. All right, my uh, gold. I will start bronze. We'll start bronze. My bronze is the over in uh, the Tampa Bay LA game. Uh, my silver is the Tennessee Titans laying three and a half. And uh, my gold is San Francisco plus six with a sprinkle on the money line. I'm not brave enough to give the San Francisco 49ers money line as my best pick again this week, but plus six. I love it. Cam, where are you going? I'm going to have, we're going to have the Tampa Bay. Uh, sorry. We're going to have bronze, the LA Rams plus three. My silver pick, I agree, that's the best total of the week. Over 48 and a half Rams and Bucks. And my gold pick is San Francisco plus six against Green Bay. I think they can win the game outright, but I'm going to take the six points. Tough, though. I, I think we're on most of the same stuff this week. Yeah, except uh, we're on different sides a little bit, but yeah. Our totals are pretty th- yeah. well the same. All right, though. Tommy Tiebreaker, give us your silver, bronze, and which pick you're going to get wrong this week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pressure, pressure's on. Yes. Uh, I'll take my bronze pick as the Cincinnati Bengals at plus three and a half. Uh, okay. My my silver pick sprinkle in that uh, San Francisco money line. I'll be confident enough to do it. Ooh, there. Bills gold, Tom? Are you and of course it, it is. The, the gold is <laughs> as gold as it gets. Buffalo Bills. As gold three. as it gets. Don't yeah. say that, <laughs> Tom. Tom, no, as gold as it gets. No, it wasn't too crazy though. It was just. Stern, stern. I mean, as gold as it gets is essentially saying it's the biggest lock of the season. Oh, God help us. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, oh, hopefully boy. we're all right. I mean, hopefully I'm wrong on the Chiefs. I really want to be wrong. As you can see, my background, I'm a Bills Yeah, fan. you're a Bills guy. Yeah. It's not obvious. Uh, I'm mean, sorry. It is very obvious. But we'll see. Hopefully our best bets hit. Hopefully you win money off our picks. And we'll say we have an exclusive interview. Uh, Cabby. Had the first ever, not first ever, first time in two years, one-on-one interview with Aaron Rodgers in person, not over Zoom. Uh, so check that out. We'll link to it right here or right here, wherever you see that little eye, it's going to pop out, say, Cabby with Aaron Rodgers, blah, blah, blah. And at the end of the video, you will see a link as well. So check that out. Very fun interview, Cam. Uh, maybe a little drinking with uh, Rodgers and Cabby. It was a good time. I, I was hoping Cabby would drink with them before the San Francisco game. That would all <laughs> yeah. that would be, that'd be good for business. Hey, hey, Aaron, hey, have some hey, Aaron. on the sides. Yeah, hey, Aaron, you want to you start chugging beers on the sideline before you go out there to play? How, how's your toe? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Uh, thank you for joining us. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and smash that like button as well. And let us know in the comments below uh, what we're wrong about this week. I know everyone was hating on us for San Fran last week. Yeah, it worked out. And I replied with the eye emoji to all the people that yelled at us uh, about picking San Fran. So I'll do it again. Tell us yeah. why we're wrong and then reply when I reply with Sportsnet's account, okay? Thanks for watching. We will see you next week.